Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. John 14, 27 Revenge, jealousy, and greed are three evils that abound in our fallen world. We can fall victim to others who are intent on destroying us, themselves, or people around us, simply because of their own hurt and anger. Control over our own situation is lost when evil is perpetrated and we are victimized. As a people of faith, when we find ourselves trapped in such an event, praying will calm our souls. Jesus specifically says he will bring peace to our hearts and that we should let go of the troubles and the fears. Recitation of memorized scriptures can soothe our troubled souls and help us to regain calm. In such horrific scenarios, it is hard not to focus on the negative. It is hard to let go. But if we fan the flicker of hope, the Lord will help us always. In Joy Express, the protagonist is trapped in a terrible situation with no one to hear her cries for help. Keeping God in her heart is difficult when there are others to protect. As she works to save herself, she prays that someone will find her against all odds. Have you ever felt helpless, victimized? Perhaps you were in a situation that wasn't physically painful or dangerous, but perhaps you've been emotionally hurt so deeply that you felt trapped in a situation that no one could help you escape. Suffering hardship, especially when that hardship is caused by someone or something outside your control, is difficult to bear. But one way to overcome is to have your arsenal ready. Memorize fortifying and hope-building scriptures, and when you find yourself spiraling out of control, either by a mental anguish and scars or through a physical situation you cannot change, you will find the strength and peace to make it through. God works all things to the good. That doesn't mean all things will be good, but it means He can make even the awful things have a positive effect in the end. Always hold on to hope. Let's pray. Lord, protect me from evil. Help me to learn your word so that it may comfort me in times of great distress. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.